Tsipal Mabona has a passion for paper in the form of a human or an animal. From the big and solitary to the small but numerous. For the past five years, the Swiss origami artist has been able to live from, yes, folding paper. He works out of a small studio in Lucerne. If my memory serves me well, my mother showed me how to make paper airplanes when I was five. I was crazy about it right from the start. Today, Mabona's work is displayed in museums. His most recent creation consists of 21 giant paper birds he made for the Museum of the Tropics in Amsterdam. In February, the 34-year-old proved that origami knows few size limits when he made an elephant. Like all of Mabona's works, it consisted of a single sheet of paper. Only this one was a 15 by 15 meter custom-made sheet of paper from the U.S. It cost 10,000 euros. Mabona worked on the elephant for a month with three assistants. The idea is that there are no limits to what we can make from a rectangular piece of paper. But with the dimensions I work in, there are significant physical forces at work. The effects are very different in relation to paper thickness, so the entire process is different. But, big or small, every piece of origami starts with a sheet of paper and an idea. Basically, I figure out which part of the animal I want to have on which part of the paper. For example, if I have a square, I start by thinking, okay, I want the elephant's tail here and the two legs on this side, and here the body, and maybe in the middle the trunk, and here the ears. Mabona's works are in great demand around the world. They've been featured in commercials for a Japanese shoemaker and a consumer electronics manufacturer. A Hamburg ad agency had him design an entire living room from paper. And for a Singapore hotel, he put together some koi fish. Mabona's works are unique. His origami elephant can be admired right now at an exhibit in Barrowminster, Switzerland. Sifo Mambona's works never fail to fascinate our visitors. On the one hand, people are intrigued by the physical aspect, the techniques he uses and how he can make such a wide variety of things from a sheet of paper. On the other hand, he really pushes the boundaries of origami. Sipo Mabona has made what began as a love of paper airplanes into an artistic calling and a career.